Tens of thousands of scientists and researchers around the world are working in the fight against the coronavirus, sometimes in ways you might not expect. Yeah, some of them are testing products that you can find in your medicine cabinet. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra looks at what they're finding. Can mouthwash fight coronavirus? The short answer is in a test tube, yes, in the human body, no. In a study in the Journal of Medical Virology, researchers tested different nose and mouth rinses on a plate of cells infected with an ordinary coronavirus. Turns out, a 1% baby shampoo nasal rinse can inactivate the virus after two minutes. With antiseptic mouthwash, 30 seconds. But they did not test these solutions against the novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19. The inactivation comes about when the active ingredients in these swishes and sprays disrupt the membrane around the virus. So it is possible. I guess there might be some theoretical minuscule benefit in terms of the public health guidance, in terms of the disease itself stopping the transmission. Uh, it's, it's interesting information, but it's not, it's not useful at this point. The big caveat? A smooth dish in a laboratory is not your mouth with its nooks and crannies or even your nose, a direct doorway into your respiratory tract. It's a starting point to look at possibilities for what you might want to do future research on. His advice? Use these products as directed, but not for coronavirus. Baby shampoo is wonderful for shampooing babies. Mouthwash, we should all use it. If you have somebody who's inside your social distance bubble, um, they will greatly appreciate your use of mouthwash. <laughs> and I would highly encourage it. A July study from Germany in the Journal of Infectious Diseases showed oral rinses with hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, chlorhexidine, and other disinfectants did inactivate the novel coronavirus, the one that causes COVID-19, but again, in a lab, not in a mouth. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.